our first question for you is, why did you decide to create an Office of Childhood? So you first have to really admit that, you know, we're not very good at what we were doing. We had multiple departments, multiple divisions, multiple agencies that couldn't even communicate with one another. This is going to give us an opportunity to rebuild early childhood uh, development in the state of Missouri, and just like a fresh start. And if there's ever time to do it, now's the time. Can you tell, tell us a little bit about why you have incorporated early childhood as a part of your priorities for workforce and infrastructure, and how is early childhood related to workforce and infrastructure? Well, it all starts there. You know, you know, everybody says, well, you know, people getting out of school are not prepared for the workforce. So what is the tools they need to be successful? They've got to have basic skills. They've got to be able to read. They've got to be able to know math. They've got to be able to science. All those things that you learn as a child. And for years, we didn't invest on that end of it. And what we do, we paid the price on the back end of it, which is much more expensive. What do you th hope this new office will accomplish for Missouri children? Yeah, you know, I think it gives a kid a chance. If you're really going to make a difference, it has to be with giving that kid the opportunity, that child the opportunity to do things, and they, and they become better citizens. And I don't know whether they're going to get four years degrees, I don't know if they're going to go in the military, I don't know whether they're going to own a own business someday, but I sure want them to have a chance. And the only way they get a chance is if somebody will pay a little attention to them on the front end to give them the opportunities and the skills they need that will teach them what they're going to need for life skills later on. So you were a county sheriff for a good part of your career and a member of the Senate. When did early childhood become an issue that you cared about? I think being back to the sheriff days, you know, you see, you, see, you see the worst part of society sometimes too. You really do. You see, you see difficult situations that people are in, adults are in, that put themselves in. But you can almost trace it back to their roots. But yet you have children in that environment too. And if you're not going to give them an opportunity and give them a way out of that, you know, we're kidding ourselves that things are going to get better. So that's where early childhood development comes in. When you were raising children, what were, what were the most important things that you and the first lady, tried, first lady tried to teach your children? Oh, you know, I'm a red, white, and blue guy. I mean, uh, you know, ever since I went in the Army, my, my mom used to fly a flag on the front porch. And, and I thought it was important for my grandkids, and I flew a flag ever since that day on my own home. But I think it's important for my grandkids to understand the importance of who we are why we're here today and why people did before us to sacrifice for them. And I think being an example, it's, it's not easy being a parent sometimes, but sometimes you have to make decisions that are really the best for the child. Maybe not always make them happy, always maybe not make you happy, but I do believe that responsibility and how you take care of them is our responsibility and that's why this is so important. Do you have any parenting moments that have stayed with you until now, moments of connection or early learning experiences as a father? Oh, I, I, I think so many. Well, the great thing about kids is they're just as honest as they can be. You know, and sometimes for all of us, that's a little tough to be that way sometimes. They always thought they made me better. They made me work a little harder to be a better person. And I think for the most part, to be the example. And I think, uh, I joke around all the time when I'm talking to groups or to people out there and there's kids around, I, I always tell the kids, I said, hey, I'm gonna tell you a secret about the governor. You know, I like kids a lot better than I do adults. <laughs> and there may be some truth to that. I just have to say, I always love the pictures of you and kids. Those are my favorite pictures of you because you can just see um, your joy and their joy. And yeah. That's really what it's all about. You know what, Couldn't be, nothing makes me any happier than, than being around some kids. Uh, truly, I've lived the American dream, coming from where I came from, serving this country, being in law enforcement, all the things I've done in my life. And uh, I've enjoyed every bit of it. And I think I want to make sure in this role that I can pass the American dream down to other kids, to give them a shot at it. You know, what they do with it, I don't know, but they got to have the opportunity. All right, we got one last question for you. All right. What is your dream, hope, or aspiration for Missouri children? You know, they all have a shot at the American dream. I want them all to be educated, I want them to have a job, and I want them to enjoy life. I want them to be happy every day uh, and they live their lives. All right, those are our questions. Thank you all right. so much. Thank all right. you.